Easy, a little bit of a battle there, a nail biter, but you guys pull out a win. How good did it feel to come back home after a long trip? Start this one off with a W. It's nice. It's nice being at home. Uh, had a good crowd tonight, and we knew we were going up against a, a, a tough battle with uh, Merrill Kelly on the mound. Got a ton of respect for him. He's, you know, been around the league. He's a true pitch maker, and uh, I've seen him a lot over the years. And he gives you fits. So, um, you know, for us to get the the three kind of solo home runs, you know, tonight two from the lefties. And then, uh, you know, Taylor with the big one uh, late going opposite field. And um, I thought our pitchers did a good job. Bailey battled. I thought his secondary pitches got better as it, as it went on. And obviously, uh, they fouled off a lot of balls um, and then turned it over to the bullpen, who, who did a great job. So uh, really nice 3-2 uh, win. Yeah, what does this one say about Bailey coming back off of that last outing? They were making him work. A lot of foul yeah. balls, a lot of fly outs. What does this yeah. tell you about him? You know, I think like the last two teams we faced, they got a lot of uh, hitters in the lineup that have flat bat paths. And so, you know, with that being said, uh, a lot of the fastballs at the top of the zone, instead of being fly outs, sometimes they're foul balls and they've just stacked the uh, pitch count on him. Uh, but he kept battling and, and kept us in the game, did a really good job. Did that have to do anything for him after that first inning where he really did have to work hard through those at-bats and just kind of settle him down? You know, uh, we were worried, I think, uh, when we got to the, the fourth inning, uh, the pitch count was in the 80s or so. And so, um, you know, Rocco and, and Pete were talking. Uh, but, you know, felt, uh, you know, we needed one more inning out of him. And I, I think that was probably his most efficient inning uh, there in the fifth. And then Floro, you know, came in. I thought another highlight, you know, tonight was uh, Theo Barr. It's so nice having him back. Um, go, getting four outs and then, you know, EP uh, there in the eighth, getting the, getting the final two outs and, uh, you know, Duran closing it down uh, in front of a, in, in, in front of a, a fun crowd. What made Kelly so tough? Was he just in the strike zone? He, he is. He's he, he's got a pitch, um, you know, kind of for whatever uh, you know your weakness is. He can two seam. He can four seam. He can cut it. He can throw the change. He can throw the change down. He can fade it away. Uh, he can manipulate the baseball, and uh, you know, it just always seems like he's just uh, hitting the lines on the edge of the zone, whether it's you know on the corners or uh, the, the the bottom portion of it. And so, uh, I've seen enough of him to know that uh, you know he, he's a damn good pitcher. Especially with Stewart down for a while, how much you guys have to rely on Pagan in situations like that? Yeah, it's you know Pagan's been you know honestly he's been he's he's been great. Uh, you know our bullpen has you know withstood a, a lot of tests. We've been in a lot of really close games, so it's just uh, great seeing them come out and put up zeros. And uh, you know I think until the ninth, I don't think we gave up any you know real free free bases with the walks and you know made them earn it. Pitching clock violation and a hitting violation was that did the clock start quicker than those guys thought? I, I don't think so. I think like on the on the pitch clock one, you know, Caleb coming back, I think he tried to change out the ball, uh, whether it was eight seconds or seven seconds, it was someone in there and we, we've got to be in that nine mark, uh, um, you know, and Caleb did a good job, kept his composure and, and uh, you know, ended up throwing a good curveball for a uh, uh, first strikeout. So it was good to see him keep the composure and, and, and finish off that at bat. What do you see out of Kepler? He's He's been hitting really well since, since you guys have been winning. I think you're 12 and 8 since the break, and you said hitting about 300. He he really has. It feels like you know maybe it's been four weeks or six weeks the last, uh, but he's he's kind of been a, a steady part of what we're doing. We're getting really good at bats from him. Um, you know he's driving the ball. Uh, even uh, you know his outs have been uh, squared up. I know the, the last series in St. Louis felt like he lined out to the warning track two or three times. So getting really good at bats, and he he always plays a really good defense out there, which is a plus.